traveling to military cemeteries across the country. That's where we first met Lon Hodge and his service dog Gander at Fort Logan National Cemetery. George Manis. Honoring veterans who died by suicide in 2017. Hodge says Gander saved him from the same fate. The line everybody uses is, Gander knows, Gander knows, yeah. right? They drove from state to state in this white van for eight years, making a difference, making memories. We actually had been hit, I'm not kidding, 17 times in that van, no, 17 times, and none of them were our fault. Gander passed away about a year ago, but Hodge and his nonprofit Operation Fetch are still on the road and his van was stolen from his motel on Tuesday in Topeka, Kansas. I walked into my motel room like 10 feet away from the car. When I walked back out, the car was gone. With all of his belongings and Gander's ashes inside. And I was devastated. Hours later, the van was found, stripped and empty. Tore up everything inside. I mean, they destroyed the van. Part of me is like really furious and enraged, and the other part of me is like, what could we do to fix the circumstances and get you the help you need? We recovered the van, and, and the only thing that they left were Gander's ashes. Relief, and then amazement. This week I've seen the worst and the best of people. For someone who travels to cemeteries and homeless camps to pay it forward, someone paid Hodge back. An anonymous donor bought him a new van the next day. I'm without words. So he can carry on his mission for veterans across the country. Now that we got a van, it's time to go back to work. Nelson Garcia, 9 News.